Well, hi there, friends. Happy fourth week of Advent. We're so happy to see you today. Um, today's word is peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. Do you know what peace means? Peace means freedom from disturbance. It means quiet. Um, what do you feel when you feel peace? I know for me, I feel peace when I'm breathing slow. I feel peace when I'm snuggling with a blanket, all cozy, all cozied up. I feel peace when I listen to beautiful music. Um, sometimes I feel peace when I'm walking outside. I love, love walking outside. How do you feel peace? How do you, how do you feel when you're, when your body quiets down and you just feel calm? Think about that. Come with me. Let's see if we can find some peace words out and about. amazing, isn't it, to find all those words out there in the world, these words that we've been talking about, hope, love, joy, peace. It's amazing to see them. Today's song, friends, is called Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night. And it's about that night when baby Jesus was born. Listen to these words. Silent Night, Holy Night. All is calm and all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Now, some of you may have seen this, some of you haven't, but I will tell you what. When you watch a little baby sleeping, it makes you feel something quiet inside. It does. Even I think if you see like a puppy or a kitten, somebody real tender and small sleeping, it can make you feel peaceful. This song has words in it like silent, you know, quiet, night is it in the dark, holy night. All is calm, how your body feels when you're quiet, but all is bright. Think about when you're outside and the stars are sparkling. Round yon virgin mother and child, that mother being Mary and that baby being Jesus. Holy infant, so tender and mild, right? Think of those little babies, how they're so sweet and innocent. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace grace and peace to each and every one of you on this fourth Sunday of Advent. I don't know about you, but I can hardly believe that we are on our last Sunday before we celebrate Christ's birth together on Christmas Eve. It has truly been such a joy to get to celebrate around the Advent wreath with you this season. As we come to our word for today, I hope you remember our words from the weeks before. We had hope, love, and last week was joy. And as Miss Lisa told you, our word for today is peace. So let's turn to God's word and see what God has to teach us about this idea of peace. We're gonna read from the book of Colossians. Let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking. You were all called together in one body to have peace. Always be thankful. Let the teaching of Christ live in you richly. Use all wisdom to teach and strengthen each other. 
Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart to God. Everything you say and everything you do should all be done for Jesus your Lord. And in all you do, give thanks to God the Father through Jesus. This is our word from God today. I don't know about you, but I was not the best speller when I was in elementary school. I had to study my words over and over to make sure I got the spelling right when I was looking at words. As Miss Lisa told you, we are talking about peace and our type of peace is called, spelled P-E-A-C-E. -E. And when we think about that kind of peace, we usually think that it means that we're not supposed to fight with one another, we're supposed to get along with our brothers and sisters, maybe live with our mom and dads listening really well. But when we look at the Jewish word for peace, which is shalom, it tells us it's a bit more complicated than that. The idea of shalom means that we're whole and that we're complete. So while we don't fight with others, it also means that we're making sure that we're taking good care of each other and that we're living into the fullness of our lives together. As I said, I wasn't really good at spelling. And as I thought about peace, I thought about the other spelling of peace. P-I-E-C-E. -E. And I thought that actually plays a bit into our idea of peace. I don't know about you, but one of our Christmas traditions in our house is to get a new puzzle every year to do together as a family. And it comes in all these tiny, tiny pieces. And for hours, you have to work together to try and make sure you get the pieces that fit together to make one big picture. It takes a lot of teamwork sometimes, it takes a lot of patience. Sometimes we really struggle to find where that one piece will fit, but you have to have each and every piece for the puzzle to be complete. If one goes missing, you have to go back and look for it. And that's kind of like our idea of peace. It means that we are all a part of the big picture, that God's beautiful plan for creation isn't fulfilled until each piece of the puzzle, which is you and I, is doing our part. When we fit in, when we're taking care of one another, when we're loving, when we're singing praises to God, we each have a small part in making sure that God's peace or God's shalom actually comes to be seen by all. So as you go out today, look for ways that you can be a part of the bigger idea of peace. Whether it's being kind to one another, whether it's sharing the things that you've been given, whether it's sharing a word of love or encouragement. May you out today and be a piece of the peace. So we light our fourth candle today to remember to be a part of peace. Let us take a moment to pray to God. Good and gracious God, we thank you for getting to journey together to Christ's birth this Advent season. We thank you for all that we've been taught about what it means to have hope, what it means to love one another, what it means to have joy, and lastly today, what it means to have peace. God, we thank you that you have given us each an important job to do and that without us being a part of that, the puzzle will never be complete, will not be fully whole. Help us in the season to continue to care for one another. Be with those who are lonely. May we show them company and encouragement from afar. Be with those who are sick. May you bring healing to them. God, be with us each as we go into this Christmas week Help us to remember what this true season truly is about. It is about your son who gave so much for each and every one of us. May you remember to share the gift and the good news that Jesus Christ is to everyone around us. In your son's name, amen. This week we have our final craft. Hopefully, you have gotten a little package that contains all these pieces to make your very own light. All you have to do is take the clear parts and stick 
all your colorful pieces of tissue paper on with a bit of glue and then tape those onto the back and you are ready to go. And if you have a fake tea candle, you can even put it underneath so that the colors will shine bright and beautiful. I hope you all have a lovely last week as we look towards Christmas Eve. May you go out in God's peace. Amen. Okay, friends. So I thought maybe for our last song, we could get a snuggle. We could get a snuggle on. Maybe you can stop the video and go find a nice snuggly blanket. I have a blanket that someone gave me. It's it, we have it in our den and we watch when we watch movies, we snuggle. I also lit two candles here. I have a peace candle and I have a candle with a, a church on it because so often on Christmas Eve, people sing this song. So why don't you see if you can get snuggled and let's see if we can sing Silent Night together. Here we go, ready? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child. Friends, our time together has been so terrific. Um, Pastor Sarah and I are so happy that you've spent some time with us this season. Uh, I want to remind you of our words. Remember hope, hope. Remember love. Remember we sang, oh, come let us adore him, love. Remember we had, we found joy. We found joy. And now we found peace. I wish for you, Pastor Sarah and I wish for you and your whole family, hope love, joy, and peace. Take care.